Here we go. It is almost time for Hollywood's biggest night. The highly anticipated Oscars are just two days away and we have our very own film critic Scott Birmingham joining us this morning to talk about the big night. Big changes for this show. You know, since I was last year and we were doing just predictions alone. Yeah, the Academy has changed their minds so many times on so many different issues. Host. No host. No host. Now this is going to be interesting. How does a presenter even know when to go on? Yeah. There's no host to do any transitions, to cut to anything. Here's some scenes to watch. Nothing. So I mean, it's almost like let's take the net away yeah. uh, from the performance. So we'll. Maybe people might just down. want to watch just for that alone, just to see how that goes. Yeah, cut down on some of the time too. They they can go long sometimes. Yeah, and you know the decision, and then changing it 20 minutes later about whether you're going to do some of the crucial awards like editors. Give me yeah. a break. The camera person, give me a break. Those have to be seen. That's almost like saying during a commercial break, we're going to send the best picture. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah. So I'm glad they changed their mind, but it makes you rather skeptical about this academy and how they're thinking about things Thanks, and how it's going to roll out. And that might be one of the reasons anticipation alone about how it's going to be. Well, it'll be exciting to watch. Let's go ahead and talk about our, your first prediction. We're talking about best picture here. Yes, I want to go with Roma. Really? Roma is up for uh, the best foreign film, and I was finding out just the other day that it's not the only one who has won for best picture and best foreign film. But I hope it does. But I loved Green Book too. So if yeah. it doesn't get it, I hope Green Book does get it. Yeah, I loved Green Book as well. That was that was uh, that was a nice surprise when I got a chance to see that one. A lot of people also talking about Vice. Uh, how are you feeling about Vice? I, I feel like it's one of those late bloomers that you know you're still seeing the ads for it. I haven't seen it yet myself, but and that's the thing. A lot of people are talking about movies that aren't even available for people to go see. Yeah. You know, Vice was okay. I mean, it's SNL for two hours, okay. really. Yeah. Uh, but not that form of political comedy isn't really for everybody. But you know. There is also, if you don't want to uh, go out to the store yep. uh, and you don't really want to watch it at home, they're going to be presenting at the Silver Legacy. It's going to be an evening at the Oscars. And this is where you can go. It's, Saturday, it's Sunday night. Uh, it's televised uh, at the Silver Legacy Grand Exposition Hall. And this is from the Cordelia uh, International Film Festival. I hope I didn't mess that up. I'm sure I did. Uh, but they're presenting this. Uh, and this is an opportunity for you to sit down and it's nice and warm and uh, the food and the drinks will be flowing for it. $75 <laughs> in advance, 85 at the door. So check it out. You can also check this out again online on our station uh, Facebook as well. Thank you so much, Scotty. Appreciate no it. Problem. And we'll see you on Monday for reaction. Okay, okay. Love it. All right, tossing things over to Steve for the look at our forecast. Hey, thank you, Melissa. Maybe you don't want to go outside and venture out in these cold temperatures. So stay inside and watch some of these Oscar nominated films. Looking at the Sierra, 